Hey everybody, you are here with Janine from Janine's Gluten Free Kitchen and today we're going to be bringing you a recipe for a lamb pot pie. It is gluten free, dairy free, paleo and keto and yummy and I am looking forward to sharing that recipe with you. Hey guys, so first thing you need to be doing is heading over to our video and the link is up there for you to connect to and make yourself a batch of the gluten-free pastry. That's gonna be super important. You want that ready and in the fridge before we get to making the filling. So let's do that first and then come back. So you have your pastry dough made now. It's in the fridge chilling. Let's make the filling. <laughs> Didn't mean to rhyme. <laughs> awesome. Now, nice big pan for you to get all your ingredients into. We're going to put a splash of oil in. I've got avocado oil, but you can use any oil you want. Big splash. And the first thing we want to do is fry up our leeks. Now, as always, our ingredients are in the, the description below the video, you can grab that when you're ready. So normally, well not normally, as an option to onions, you can use leeks, which is what I've done today. It's gonna to give it a richer, sweeter taste and it's gonna be picked up with the mince a lot more than just onions. Onions tend to be a kind of a background note, which is these are gonna be a much more obvious flavour and a really lovely flavour to go with our lamb. So we're going to fry that off for a good couple of minutes. La, 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 la. When your leeks are nice and softened and they're just starting to brown, we're going to throw in some minced garlic. and stir that through, give that another minute or so. Already smelling delicious. Got a kilo of organic lamb mince and you can use any lamb mince you like. And you wanna break that up. So what we're trying to do is get all the liquid evaporated off the meat and we want it to start frying. But while it's doing that, we're gonna add some spices in to give it some real oomph and flavor. We have some smoked paprika. We have some turmeric. Your salt or to your taste and some cracked black pepper. Actually, it's a bit steamy so I'm going to do it into a little bowl and then tip it in. There we go. Now I also have some dried oregano and some dry thyme. And give that a good stir. And you can see the water's already starting to evaporate and the oils are 
frying the meat now, which is where you want to be because you want to brown the meat. Beautiful. Let's give that a couple of minutes before we add our other veggies. Right, let's add our spinach now. And the beauty of mince is it really doesn't take long to cook at all. So it can become a very easy dinner when preparing. And even though we're making this mince for a pie, you don't have to make it into a pie. You can just make the mince and serve it with as it is. You know, it's great. And then finally, no not finally, second last thing, we've got some chopped up silver beet. Now silver beet is, cooks really easily and is very sweet. And so it doesn't need a lot of cooking. Not like uh, kale, if you were using kale in this, you would have probably put that in first to really break it down before putting it in with the lamb. A silver beet cooks so easily. Oh, it's lovely. Yum! Wish you could smell what I was smelling. Oh my goodness. But well, hopefully you will when you make it yourself. <laughs> Going to add a few extra spices. Don't worry, I'll adjust it in the description. And last but not least is our final ingredient. These are some beautiful pine nuts that we have roasted earlier. Just dry pan fry and I've thrown them in for a final mix through. They're gonna give some really lovely texture as you're eating the pie. And so that is it for the filling. It doesn't need to simmer. The flavours are well incorporated and the silver bead is cooked through. So we're gonna turn that off. Just gonna set that aside for a couple of minutes until we can handle it, because it's not too hot. Let's put our pie filling into our pie dish. And you want a nice big pie dish, as you can see, because there's a lot of filling. Good family size. And you don't need to grease, because this is a pot pie, you don't need to grease the bottom. There's no pastry going on the bottom. Let's let that cool down a bit. Okay, this is our pastry now and it's set and it's time to roll it. Now I'm going to be doing it the easy way between two pieces of baking paper. Makes the whole process so much easier. So let's get a couple of pieces on our bench. Beautiful. Pastry. Get a bit of a squish down. And I dare say we're going to have a little bit left over. Alrighty. We want to try and roll that into a nice round piece because we want it to sit on our pie. 
But anytime you're making pastry, the trick to rolling is nice and slow and even. See what it's looking like underneath? That's what it looks like underneath. It's still very thick, so we're just going to keep rolling it a bit more. Now, in case you're wondering, can I freeze this dough? The answer is absolutely you can. You just want to take it out a few hours before you need to use it so it defrosts in time. And you can also freeze any extra bits that you have left over and add them to other doughs if you make some extra. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And that's about half a centimetre. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut it before I put it onto my pie or to use it. Now your circle doesn't need to be perfect because what we're going to do is just kind of crinkle the edges on top of itself when I put it on the pie. You'll see what I mean. Let's just get rid of all those extra bits. And as it, as it starts to warm up, starts to crumble a little. That's okay. It'll still taste great. Now I'm going to keep it on the paper while I'm still handling it. It just makes it a bit easier. Hand this in. And we're going to very gently lift it up. I'll do it this way for you. And then quickly put it over the top. What I mean by it's going to fall apart anyway on the edges. <laughs> Cut around whatever extras we have, and then we're just going to push them into the pie edge. It's a very rustic pie. Beautiful. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Now with any pie, it's always a good idea to create a little vent for the steam to come out. So we're just going to do a little crisscross on the top. And this is when you can get creative and make it look a bit cute. I'm just going to cut a couple of leaves, pattern, purely for visual effects. Because I like it when my food looks beautiful too. Beautiful. Now, it does have a lot of fat in it and you could wash it with butter afterwards. I don't think it really needs it because it's a very, very high fat pastry when you think about all the almond meal and the margarine that's in it. It doesn't really need anything extra. So that's good to cook. Let's pop it into the oven. And our pie is beautifully browned and cooked. Let's see what it looks like inside. Beautiful lamb pie. Oh, the pastry is lovely and crispy. Which is just ideal. Great. Now, pot pies can be a little messy because there's nothing holding it all together at the bottom. So you have to just kind of be very slow. Oh, look at that. How yum does that look? Ooh. Let's get some extra filling. 
beautiful and steamy. That is super impressive and smells amazing. So there you have our lamb pot pie with silver beet, leek and pine nuts, super scrumptious. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please let us know by hitting the like and subscribing, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we always welcome your comments in the comments section. Have a fabo day, take care, see ya. I don't know, it's an artificial. I don't like it. Um, no, let's do that again. And no, no, we'll just go with what we've got. <laughs> let's let that. Little. Okay, got it.